Welcome to this Lee Daniels art tutorial, keyframing the wiggle expression in After Effects. The uh, wiggle expression runs continuously by default. This is just a very quick tip to show you how you can turn it on and off using keyframes. This is a scene from my animated short Laggy Band Limited. As the character pulls tension on the chair, the body shake intensifies and then stops completely as it's released. Here's the character composition in After Effects. You can see the rotation of the body and the chair are controlled by these two null objects. First of all, we're going to apply a wiggle expression to the rotation of these two nulls. So select them both, hit the R key to bring up the rotation controls, then holding down the Alt key, click the stopwatch to activate the expression. Then just type in wiggle bracket 0, 1, end bracket and then select all copy that expression then on the second null hold down the alt key again click the stopwatch and paste in the wiggle expression the first figure represents frequency the second is the value or the amount so in this case it's one degree of rotation so for this scene we want the frequency to rise and then fall quickly back to zero so we're going to keyframe the frequency so it's very simple to do. First of all, select the null object for the body and then over in the effects and presets panel, type in slider in the search box and double click slider control. And over in the effect controls, you'll see that that's added a slider control to the body null. So all we need to do is link the frequency to the slider control so that we can keyframe it. So just click on that expression and then highlight the zero and then using the pick whip tool for the expression controls, we simply drag it over to the slider and then release. So now if we keyframe this value over time, we can affect the frequency up and down. So just click the stopwatch on the slider control to create a keyframe. Then over on the body null, just hit the U key to bring up the slider keyframe. So for the first one, it's set to zero. And then we move to the second to last frame. I'm going to put that up to about 40. And then on the end frame, I'm going to put that back to zero. So if we do a RAM preview, you should have something like this. So then the last thing to do is just select all of those slider keyframes and then right click and in the keyframe assistant, just select easy ease and it will just smooth out that transition and then duplicate that process for the chair mover. And then you should end up with something like this. Right, that's the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my Lee Daniels Art YouTube channel where you'll find examples of some of my animated shorts, client work, and news about upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.